Oh, I hear somebody. Is it Storm? Good. Good morning, horses. Good morning, Stormy boy. Good morning, Day Sam. Good morning and welcome to today's video. It is another rainy day, but it's nice and warm out. I've discovered that I hate everything to do with cold. The rain I can handle, the snow a little, but mostly it's cold. <laughs> but yeah, when it's cold, that's my thing. That's my nemesis. Oh, Finn has a cut, and I think he's bleeding. Oh my goodness, how did you get hurt? Chino. That's not good. I noticed Chino has been a butt without Storm to be the leader. That's annoying. How you doing, Stormy boy? Oh, he's looking good standing in his stall. He looks like he has more energy today. Yeah. Hopefully he's not lame now. I don't think he's lame. No. Gabby just asked me, can I feed the horses myself? <laughs> Heck yes. Aw, you got your braids in still. Oh my goodness. I see there was a flood, it looks like. Was it? Was it dad? Right, I do know what to do. Don't get mad when I do it in my own way. This is the rule. Uh, you need to back Not away. Ready. Jeez Louise. I cannot do it. Get. Go. I don't want you following me. All right. There you go, princess. So wrong, but I don't care. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about life. Today's lesson by Laura is that we are two people. Each of us have two people in us. We have our ego and we have our spirit. Our spirit wants us to do good and be good. And our spirit understands. Our spirit rejoices in the journey of our own and of other people. Isn't that crazy? But our ego, our ego wants to be the best. Wants to be perfect. Wants to be right all the time. And so all the time, the two people that are inside of us are always fighting, fighting, fighting. And more often than not, the ego wins out. Our ego. And I suffer from my ego just like everybody does. Nobody is good at it. Like it is a really hard struggle, but there is one thing. This is the thing I want you guys to know. I screamed at a chipmunk yesterday, but that had nothing to do with my ego. Why it had to do with my fear. Because he scared me. But here's the thing. Whenever my ego acts against my spirit, I get a feeling. Do you guys know it? Do you guys get that feeling? That feeling of unease, like, wait, did I say the wrong thing? Wait, should I have said that? Wait, is that what I should have done? Like, I always get a feeling. It's definitely easy to ignore the feeling because I do it all the time. I make mistakes. I go against my spirit every day, a hundred million times a day. And for the like one or two times a day that I go with my spirit and against my ego, is it beautiful. I get the most incredible feeling. So go out there today and try and pay attention to the times when you acknowledge your spirit instead of your ego. It is so addicting and so amazing. Maybe we can do better together on this journey. Right, you're taking off her. Whoa. Somebody said put sticky tape wherever they stand, but I can't get up there to put sticky tape. You know wherever they stand, there's poop. Yeah, I need, we need to evict them though. I can't stand the birds now. They brought their friends. Like I didn't mind one or two, but they brought all their friends and that was not cool. There was three? Yeah, that is not cool. He looks cute in pink. I know. He looks like a unicorn. He's your unicorn. My unicorn. I was cleaning the poop out of the arena and I came back to this. He looks a little goofy. You look a little goofy with that hairdo, Finch, you know? It just, I don't know. It doesn't suit you the way it suits a pony. So yeah, I saw that. And then, I saw <laughs> Gosh, he looks like alfalfa. He's got no hair. <laughs> He's like, don't laugh at me. That's so rude. You know those troll babies? <laughs> you know the troll things? Yeah. The troll baby things? Yeah. Yeah, so cute. I think Finn looks the best. No, Storm does. Storm, Finn's is a messy bun. Storm's is a troll baby. And Storm's is so funny because he's got no hair. 
He said, give me the hay. Right, let the dance begin. little misses. Okay. Okay, so now we got the horses switched around. We're gonna feed the boys, clean the girls. It's the whole thing that we do. So basically, a Storm is hurt. He got hurt. He's almost better. I sent video to our trainer yesterday and she said he's almost not lame anymore and uh, she thinks two more days so today and tomorrow he'll still be in his stall uh, it's been raining and bad weather so we've been putting the boys out here and the girls in for the day and then the girls out for the night and the boys in for the night if that makes sense uh ruby's loving her haircut even though she doesn't look gorgeous she's feeling free with no more mats and that's gonna have to do you guys have been so supportive and kind that's amazing i'm gonna probably try and and fix up a couple of spots that i noticed like under her tail today okay go ahead and we were gonna ride today but our arena is a little wet so i don't know how that's gonna work out i am so grateful that covid did not happen during the winter we did so much riding so much fun so much amazing this winter uh, still, it's still a bit early in the season for us to be able to get outside. Um, I figure it'll be about two more weeks before we're able to have lessons with Fiona. So, and then probably Brandon too. They will be able to come to our house and do lessons COVID-19 style where we uh, stand far away from each other, but she will, they will be able to do that. So okay, I, I think about two more weeks. Brandon. Yeah, I'll get a megaphone so they can scream into it. Oh, Fiona doesn't need it. Yeah, Fiona's got a nice, good voice. Well, hello, Mr. Chino Bambino. So I've noticed that without Storm, Chino is a bit more of a of a force to be reckoned with. Like, I think he, I am glad, I'm grateful for Storm. We're starting to see his more adventurous side, his more outgoing Hold side, on. his more bratty side. Job. Ben hates it when I boop him, but she doesn't care. I want to give you more boop. Yeah. Boop. Ah. No. Be no. careful. Good job. That's how I get horses to stop. I stand right in front of them. She's brave like Fiona. No, I literally not going to run over. Literally, oh, literally, Fiona stands in front of a horse and says, "You better not run me over," and they it's never an do. Emergency. I'm not that brave. It's Hurry up! What? Hurry up! Somebody lost this innocent <laughs> troll in here! Hello, baby troll! It's funny how everybody thinks that she's like a baby, but she's our oldest girl. She's 15? She's only 16. 16. I think Willow's over there eating the hay. Did anybody notice? So, we're discussing, we watched a show yesterday, a whole season. That's why our vlog was kind of shortish, I feel like. Um, but we got hooked on the show. Never have I ever, and it was really good. And now we're discussing like- Because I said we should watch it. Yeah, Gabby picked it. And now we're discussing like, which boy would you go for? So there was like, the boy that was the most popular, the cutest, but he didn't treat her that good. Like it took him a long time before he realized that he liked her. And then there was another boy that was more geeky, but he was rich. Rich does it for me. Well, they were <laughs> Like a year anyway. So yeah, it was her arch 
enemy, but then in the end, he ended up being the one that like treated her so kind and, um, yeah. And so two boys. And he had Ben had a girlfriend, and he tried to kiss her twice. Yeah, that was not so good. That's the nice guy. Yeah, that was not so good. He was drinking though. Yeah, he blamed it on drinking. Is it okay to kiss another girl when you're drinking though? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. But it's an excuse. Yeah, so anyways, you're not, in your right mind. you're not in your right mind, but then you shouldn't drink if you can't stand drink and not drink a little and not go out of your right mind, I feel. He didn't have to drive home. Okay, so who would you go for? Would you go for the nice guy, the nice rich guy um, that supported you and cared for you? Or would you go for the guy that was super handsome, that treated you like crap, but finally came around and started liking you at super the end? Handsome. Sophie goes for the bad boy, the super handsome, that finally... He's a swimmer. Yeah, he's... I don't care about his swimming life. Yeah, he's an athlete. He uh, was a nice guy, but he didn't treat her that good, did he? Yeah. Or, who would you go for? The nice guy or the bad boy? Gabby goes for the Can nice boy. Can steal the nice boy's money and then we can do Gabby likes the bad boy. Or Sophie likes the bad boy. Who would have thought? Sophie likes bad boys. So, if it was up to me, I would choose the good guy, obviously, because I chose Sam. I like, I like nice people. I like good guys. I like kind people. How dare you, Mom? I know. I'm not attracted to the bad boys. Okay, I'm a little bit attracted to the bad boys. But I know. I, I can't be too. She's like, same. Like, they're handsome and, like, they're attractive. But we know in our hearts to go for what's better for us. Dun, dun, dun. You have a lot of learning before I release you to the boys. Oh, then you should take away her Roblox. Why? Is she playing with boys? She gets like fake boyfriends for like role plays. That so was before. It's not online dating, but it's like role playing. It's role playing online dating? Yeah. You're online dating? No. Sophie! You want me to? That's why she has a better love life because they're not gay. I find all the boys that are in real life that I like, but they're all gay. I already feel the heat coming. I feel it coming. It's gonna be so hot and sticky tomorrow. It's gonna be 18 degrees above zero. That's almost like a nice, cool summer temperature. So we got Gracie on the prowl now. She's over here eating from our stockpile of hay. Don't walk on those br those things, though, Missy. Guys, you think? A wolf is your dead parent? Don't go near <laughs> She's still thinking about the show we watched. Also, what? we got Gabby out here doing the worst job ever, cleaning the buckets. When you have a hose. Yeah, when you have a hose, it's not so bad. But she's cleaning buckets, getting water done. We have this stall clean, that stall clean, and we are working on Chino's stall. Chino's not that messy. Who's our messiest horse? Chino. No, who's our messiest horse? No, because this is way messier than this. Fan. Right, we are done. We are done for the morning. Ponies are all clean. The stalls are all clean. Our floors are clean, but they're all wet from the mud and the rain. Med and rain. Willow's in there having her supper, Med. her breakfast. Everybody's having breakfast. Chino wants to be wherever the action is. He's starting to, we need to start laying down the law with him a little more now. Because he's starting to really come into himself. Chino wants to be with his girlfriend. But I love Chino. Do you love Chino? Yes. Like, he's such a good, fun horse. All right, let's go. I came out with my winter coat on and my gloves, and it's literally... Gabby just stabbed me. Neck. Yeah, Gabby just stabbed me with a knife. No. <laughs> Gabby just... Gabby just stabbed me with a stick, a dirty stick. It is about, it is almost 15 degrees. It's been raining for the last couple of days. Things are starting to turn green. Wow. Things are changing on the day by day farm. And we are still waiting, but pretty soon we'll be back to lessons. And I'm excited about that. A lot of people can't take lessons because they're in a group facility and you can't have groups. And it doesn't look like we're gonna be allowed to have groups for a long time. But because like we- everybody's 10 feet away from But we coming. will be able to have lessons outside soon. Ruby had a bath this morning, you guys. She finally got all finished. I actually don't think she looks that bad. Ruby, sit. Sit. I actually think we kind of did a good job. There's some, there's a few loose, crazy hairs, but for the most part, she looks good. I think that's the best job we've ever done. It is lunchtime at the zoo, and I think we are gonna take our horses for a walk. It is gorgeous outside, like 14 degrees. 
really nice out and they need to get going for a walk. I've discovered that if Sophie's scared to do something with Finn, then I say, oh, it's okay, I'll do it. And then she's like, yeah, I'll do it myself. <laughs> trick, trick for you parents out there. Where's that little tiny girl? There she is. I'd like to take you for a walk. We gotta figure out who we're gonna take. Chino, you wanna go for a walk? Obviously, Gabby's gonna drive him. Huh, what happened there? Just fell, did it? Had nothing to do with you? A stranger came and did it? Finn did it. I bet you it was Finn. You guys think it was Finn? Finn, Finn was it you? Finn of what, the hay bag? Yeah. That's Finn's hay bag. It is Finn's hay bag, but it was Chino that did it. So when did you say that you thought Finn did? Oh, I was oh, just... Oh, look, Hendrix marks. Oh, that does not look like Hendrix marks. <laughs> that looks like Chino marks. No. That's the cat's claws. Can horses have chives? Look at how big those claws are. Who, who are We're we taking? taking Chino and Finn. Chino and Finn? I okay. cheese. Should I take somebody though? No. Or should no. I? Should I bring my camera and take really nice pictures of no. us? I'm no. trotting. Okay. No. All right, let's go. All right, I have, I went up to the house and I got my camera. I'm gonna try and take some pictures. I also got the GoPro. I don't know if it's charged, but we're gonna try. Typically when I get the GoPro, it's never charged. I got my vest and I got my barn sneakers. These are Skechers and they look really sketchy because I wear them at the barn, but they're the most comfortable shoes I have. They're the most comfortable shoes I own. All right, we are gonna go for a ride, you guys. You ready for it? You're wearing the vest that you scream at people in. Yeah, I'm wearing the vest that I scream at people in. Especially the teenager guy. Look at that booty. I just, I just went like this. Told him to get his butt out of Finn's face. Like that is massive. That's. He has more neck muscles. Holy camoly! I can't wait for Fiona to see him. What? Like that is rock hard. He's flexing. He's like, woo! Look at my booty. <laughs> <laughs> what a goofy boy. Oh, is that what he's doing? Yeah, but he's getting there. I really want Sophie to ride Finn. Do you want to ride him? I know, but you should ride him. I think you should ride him. Why? I'll walk with you. I'm not taking any horses with me. Now? All right, well, let's walk him today. Our plan always all along was to take him for long walks on the trail so he gets used to it. Storm's watching us out the window. I can hear him calling. He's like, where are you going? You know, you feel silly not walking, not riding your beautiful pony. Well, I kind of want to walk with him so I can do more boxing. Okay. Look at this hay's perfect size for the horses. Wax. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think the hay is almost ready for them. Chino's ready. ready. He's like, let's go! Look at, he's a huge horse. Holy crap. Yeah, he's a good boy. You're such a good boy. What do you want me to do? Hey, hey. Hey, don't eat the camera. He's getting sassy. It's all good. Okay. He's, he's loving this bonding time, Sophie. <laughs> he's grass. This is what Canada is like. Kind of like an avocado. Too cold to go anywhere. Too cold, too cold, too cold. Boom. So hot you don't want to go anywhere. That's craziness. That's what always happens. Like an avocado. It's not ripe. It's not ripe. Boom. It's overripe. Rambling on the road and nobody sticks around. Look at that gorgeous butt. I'm a butt girl, I think. Gabby hides it really well, but I honestly believe that at the beginning she was nervous to bring Chino out, but I feel like they're really starting to build a bond lately, and she really is starting to trust him and believe in him, and I am getting more nervous of him because he's, he's at that stage now where he's getting really powerful. Like, you might not be able to see it in the camera, but he's getting huge buff and it makes him just look like this powerful war horse like he's big you guys all right 
So there's the cows and Sophie just successfully walked Finn past them. You have babies, aren't they gorgeous? I love a cute cow. Like look at that cow right there staring at us. Isn't she so pretty? Aww. They're nervous because I'm here. There's a baby. Don't know what danger is that you never been truly kissed. farthest we've ever gone with Stella. Oh, up there further? That's a mailbox, Tim. We got it. We can handle cows. We can handle mailboxes. What? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Sophie. She wants you back. Finny Finn. She needs you to drag her. We're back, Stormy. You had friends. What the heck? I need to sit down. <laughs> that was a crazy walk, wasn't you it? No, both my legs were sleeping. So Sophie died on the walk. I had to lift them up with my hands. Finn had the best meal of his entire life. And Chino looks pretty sore, actually. Get out of his butt. Chino looks like, oh, let me lay down. Our booty, though. So you know what you missed? What? Young girl, sports car, came up over the hill. We were in our right side. She was on her right side. Just flying over the hill behind us. That's I. you don't climb up the hill this, and when they come like that. That's why you go diagonal? That's why you go on the other side, because then other people can see you going up the hill, but if you go on this side, and the car comes racing. Yeah, we were, we were on the right side. And let me tell you. Oh, I was like, I almost jumped right in front of that car. Like, <laughs> road rage is real when you have horses. Oh, I showed you, like, um, uh, audio. And that's the road rage. Yeah. Literally, I just turned off the camera. Good thing. You guys would not have heard what, what, you guys would not have wanted to hear what I said to that girl. But yeah, it is scorching hot outside today. Can scorching. I walk? Um, the fields are, there, Finn wants to go in his field, but we have to clean his water bucket. It looks, uh, some green in it now. And we won't that means do it's that. sunny. Yeah, we won't do it today. Tomorrow morning, they're going to go out in the field, though. It'll be dry. It's kind of wet still, so they're just going to rip it up. Tomorrow morning, back to the field you go. And then Stormy can go. He does not have a lot of fat on him, though. I heard that. And then Stormy can go the next day, Hi. Sunday. We just went for a long walk. Gabby, Sophie didn't complain at all. She's nothing like you. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh. You didn't complain at all. Didn't it's just this like starts sleeping and I start I'm screaming at it. Oh yeah, she her. He just sleep. She wanted me to pull her. She wanted Finn to pull her. Alright. Get him out there and get him some hay. You know we're all just